India. Hi to all my Indian viewers. Not sure if it's been a uh, fir a first. It says um, handle with <laughs> handle with care. It's all right. I'm a professional. All right. So, oh, haha, <laughs> excellent. So thank you very much, Abay Kuma. Awesome. It is. Oh. Oh, I actually ordered this. Um, it's not a mailbag. I was kind of wondering where it is. Anyway, <laughs> it is the new Casio um, FX991EX model. Not to be confused with the other models. It's the brand new one. It's just been released. And um, yeah, I was wondering where it is. It's like been sitting here, it's probably been sitting here for a while. Um, yes, this is not a mailbag. So, um, yeah, a bay, he's not a viewer. It's pretty sexy. Um, it's got um, some uh, engineering. It's got like engineering display on it, apparently. So we'll take a quick squiz at it. And isn't that funky looking? That's the FX991EX. Um, they actually announced it, a long, was it last year? I don't know, it was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But it takes them forever to release this thing. And I had to buy it from India. I don't think it's actually available anywhere else at all. Really quite like the uh, styling of it. Not a fan of the really the white, stark white keys and the white back just uh, doesn't really work for me at all I'm afraid with the matching white cover on it no that's just a fail they could have done something better than white there but uh, yeah this is um, the follow-up to let's put them side by side shall we this is the follow-up to the FX991ERS model which I've had for a couple of years now and this is the um, this is the brand new version and substantially different in terms of the uh, screen, this one has a much higher resolution uh, screen and can do some more stuff that the old ES model couldn't. And yes, this puppy is solar powered, famously low power consumption in the uh, Casios, of course. Can we have a look at the uh, specs there? What does that say? Usually it tells you the power. Oh, it doesn't. Usually it says, you know, 10 femto watts or something ridiculously low. Anyway, it's got one uh, LR44 battery in it and high-res display and it can do everything, uh, including the kitchen sink, I suspect. So there you go, it's got spreadsheets. There's no, like, enter button here. We have to actually hit the number there uh, on the keypad. So we can do spreadsheet functions. We can do distribution uh, functions. You can do, oh, just everything. Look at that. Fantastic. We can do... Oh, how do, how do we get back to the menu? Ah, oh, fail. Come on. There we go. There's more stuff down here too. Oh, look at this. It's ridiculous. And we can do uh, statistics. There's all sorts of stats stuff as well. Look at that. Really annoying that there doesn't seem to be like a back button there. And if you hit the menu button, it doesn't really, doesn't really do it. Oh, and we've got vector calculations as well. That sounds pretty groovy. Good old matrices. Everyone loves matrices. Come on, you know you do. And for all you number system aficionados, of course, yes, we do have uh, all sorts of base end calculations, all that sort of jazz. It, yes, it does have uh, decimal hex binary octal directly on the uh, keypad. Beauty. And my favourite, complex numbers. I love complex numbers. Woohoo! We're in complex number mode. Terrific. But the thing is, like, you go into menu here, and it gives you this, like, and you can't select it with the enter key, and they didn't actually put the overlays on here. So if you want to go uh, back to normal mode, of course, you've got to uh, go in here and then hit, you know, uh, menu one, basically, and we're back in regular mode. You know, menu seven will take you into distribution mode. I, uh, You know, just come on, put it on the keys. Anyway, one thing it does have, if you press the option button here, you can go into engineer symbols. <laughs> Sounds a bit chinglish, doesn't it? So we can go into engineer symbols and we can select our engineering symbols, which is nothing new. Uh, a lot of Casio calculators actually have, you can do, um, you know, function shift and then they'll have the engineering units directly on the keypad here, and that was really good. So if you wanted to enter, you know, Pico, you wouldn't have to go, uh, you know, one times 10 to the power of, whoop, sorry. 
can't see everything. You wouldn't have to go 1 times 10 to the power of uh, minus 12 and look, look it, it doesn't do it. You've got to do it in the right order. This is this v visually perfect algebraic method rubbish. Oh, I prefer the old Casios, but this thing is ridiculously powerful though. And it does everything like graphically as well. So you can go in here and you can go shift differentials, for example. There we go. Look at that. Go enter everything. Bob's your uncle. And likewise, the same thing with integrals as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Actually, you can see that sort of patterned raised surface there and you can actually feel that that textured surface I've got to admit I'm a bit of a fanboy at that it just feels high quality I think we're shooting calculators on video like this it doesn't make sense you've got to like turn it like that to get sort of like to fill the screen we need vertical screens but no we don't want to shoot vertical video do we it's evil anyway um yeah it's got the regular uh, engineering key you used to so you know one times ten to the power of minus six so if you're in a like micro for example and if you, you know, if you got that as a result, then it actually can converts it into a fraction. Look at that, one on a million there. But then you can just go in there and hit your magic engineering key like that. And you can hit it multiple times and it'll tell you. Look at that. No problem whatsoever, just like regular Casio stuff. So the higher resolution screen, one of the highlights of this thing, it's four times the resolution of the old one. It's 192 by 63, which doesn't sound like a, mo a lot, but it uh, adds up. And if you look at a 3 by 3 uh, matrix like this, you can really see the difference of the amount of uh, data that you can uh, fit, you know, just the resolution of the text and amount of data and stuff you can actually fit on the screen. It's much, much better. You can actually see it can do 4x4 four four matrices, whereas the old one could only do 3x3 three three on the screen. That's it. Although I've got to admit, though, the old screen was actually clearer, but there's nothing wrong with this one. It's just I prefer the look of this one, that's all. But, yeah, it's, the contrast is pretty darn good on this one. No problems at all. In fact, you could say... Yeah, the readability might be better. So in addition to the uh, spreadsheet, we've got uh, ratios, we've got inequalities, uh, equation functions and tables, just like the old one had tables as well. And one thing of interest to us, of course, if we go into the setup here, we can set up our engineer symbol, um, engineering symbols on. Thank you very much. So it'll now give us results in, uh, so let's do one times uh, 10 to the minus six again, and it should, now give us one micro. Beautiful. So the really annoying thing is, you know, if we wanted to do a, you know, start a simple equation like this and we wanted to go 3.1 micro, for example, yeah, we could do the times 10 to the power of minus 6, but if we wanted to do it using the uh, engineering symbols, of course, to enter them, as I said, there's no shortcut here, so it's really annoying. So you've got to go into option, and then you've got to go engineering symbol, and then you've got to go number 2, which adds in the micro. I mean, it's, you know, almost like it's just a quick, as quick, especially if you want to enter the uh, positive values, like uh, kilo, for example, you just use times 10x button and then three. So it's only two buttons instead of three anyway. So you can do that and then you can divide by. So, you know, if I wanted to go uh, divided by six, K, for example, there we go. So I can mix and match the actual units display with the uh, with your traditional exponent display like that, and then we can get our answer. Bingo, 516 puff. Thank you very much. And I do like the multi-line display, how it actually left your equation up here for you to double check that you actually entered the right thing as well as giving you the answer. Fantastic. So anyway, I can't turn this into a review because this thing uh, will go on forever. This thing does everything, including the kitchen sink. And I know there's a lot of people out there who don't use calculators anymore. Oh, I've got my phone. Always oh, got my phone with me. Yeah. Screw your damn phone. Takes too long to turn on. What if it's not charged? What if you put it somewhere else? It's ridiculous. You can't beat having a proper calculator on the desk. And I've got like six calculators here in the lab or something. One's always within uh, reach. And if you want a super powerful one, I personally don't prefer... I, as I've said many times, I prefer the old pre-VPAM stuff, uh, the Casio um, interface format. But this is the visually perfect algebraic method, so you can't just go five and then sign, for example. It's the wrong way around like that. You can't just do that. It'll actually give you a syntax error. You've got to do sign first like you're actually writing the real equation. I don't know. That's just not the way I was brought up to use Casio calculators. Anyway, meh. But the great thing is, it's always available, instant on, 
never crashes, never requires an operating system upgrade, solar powered, it'll last forever, don't have to worry about the batteries running out, it's just, it's brilliant, and it costs, I think it's like 25 bucks on eBay or something, plus postage from India, it's absolutely crazy, I'm not sure when it's going to be available in uh, local uh, markets, but anyway, I had to buy this sucker from India, but it's, it's dirt cheap, it's absolutely amazing. The amount of stuff this thing can do, I could do an hour review of this and still wouldn't be able to cover everything. It's just nuts. Anyway, I'll link in some videos uh, down below. But anyway, it's a nice upgrade from the 991 ES. If you've already got the 991 ES, would you want this one? Eh, yeah, why not at the price? Eh, can't have too many calculators.